I wanted to add this as an option for you because, you know, we have people coming from all over the place. So I thought it might be great if we also included like a large scale context plan just to show what the city grid looks like where you are. Consider going back into Google Earth Pro and re-exporting another image which has a much broader context and maybe consider like what landmarks you would like to use to orient your image. Okay, so um, this is the, the plan that we created in Rhino in the first part of the tutorial. This is the properly scaled aerial image from Google Earth Pro. Then we have a one kilometer by one kilometer box that we've drawn. If we want to do a larger context image, we would follow the exact same process as uh, what we did before. So I've actually now moved some of these uh, images and lines onto different layers, but I'm just gonna delete these and do it again from scratch so that you can see how it works. So again, um, making sure that we are active on the layer IMG which if you don't know how to create layers in Rhino, which of course some of you, this will be almost your first time using it, um, you can go into the layers panel here, click add a new layer and name it anything you want. I tend to try to keep mine pretty organized. Um, so I have IMG for images and line work for line work. That's basically all we need at this stage. So um, I'm just gonna delete this one. And if you wanna move things to different layers, you can just select them right click on the layer and go change object layer. That's one way to do it. You could also select it and go into the object properties panel and change the layer right here in this drop down box. So making sure we're on the image layer, let's go ahead and use that same command we used before. It's called picture frame. And I'm gonna select my context plan. Okay, again, we don't really care where we're putting it because we're gonna move it around and scale it anyway. So I'm just gonna do something like that. SC for scale. And uh, we will select this image. Then it's going to um, ask us to create a base point and we will use this corner of the scale bar. Notice that the scale bar is not 100 meters, but rather one kilometer. So we will click our, to add our point in the base point here. Press shift and then Click this other point at the end of the scale bar here for your second reference point. Now we're going to put in the total distance of the scale bar, which is one kilometer. And since we're working in meters, we'll input 1000 meters. So there we have our context plan, which is now properly scaled. And I'm just going to move it so that it's roughly in line with the edge of this guy right here. In case you're having issues conceptually understanding what we have just done, Rhino is displaying these maps in real size. When we look at this, we're seeing a one-to-one -one representation of the city of Vancouver. Um, what that means is basically that this box, which is 1,000 meters by 1,000 meters, can be simply copied and pasted onto this map, and it will be the exact same size. So. Um, Let's copy this. I'm using the command copy. I have my shortcut set up to CO for copy. You might not have shortcut set up and I'm gonna show you how to do that very soon. But if you have trouble accessing the copy command, just write the full word, word copy. So I'm gonna move it up here and approximately in the same um, place as my previous square is. I think that's, I think that's pretty close. Um, so now we have a, a close in view of our map. And then we also have this further out context view. And both of them have the site located with the one kilometer square. Um, that's great. But what are we actually doing with this? Uh, where, how do you get it out of Rhino and onto a piece of paper? Um, you might be wondering, like, why didn't we just put this image into a like presentation or whatever and just like draw a square on it? I wanted to get you guys familiar with the concepts of using background images and drawing over top of them. And also just like getting into Rhino and not being afraid to follow along and use it for those who have never used 3D modeling before. Um, but I'm gonna also show you how we 
turn these um, pieces of information into pictures that we can use in a presentation. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to actually select both of these objects, the image and the square. And I'm going to go to File, Export Selected. So I would like to um, save this as a context plan. And I'm going to write a scale that I want to use, which is uh, 1 to 10,000. That's a pretty large scale, but I think it's a good scale for a context plan. So I'm going to call it 10,000, just like that. And I'm going to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. So Adobe AI right there. We're going to go into the options. And instead of um, the default, which is the snapshot of a current view, I want you to select preserve model scale. Now, determining scale is going to be something that um, people who don't have a design background are not really going to understand just yet. But I am going to be lecturing and explaining all about scale next week. So for now, just trust me that you want to write 10 meters here. And we're going to make 10 meters equal to one millimeter. Um, please just trust me. And I hope I'm right, but I think that's equivalent to one to 10,000. So uh, one, 10 meters equals one millimeter. And all of the other settings you can just leave as they are. I'm gonna press save. Again, it's gonna confirm our export options. And yes, that's exactly what we want. I'm gonna click okay. Now, when you um, export this set of drawings, we might want to reduce that. Like maybe we want this at one to 1,000, for example, or one to 2,000 or something like that. You can do the exact same export um, process. So file, export selected. I'm gonna call this um, site plan. And I'm gonna choose a scale of 2000. That's a kind of typical scale for a larger site plan. Again, make sure that Adobe Illustrator is selected. Go into your options. And if 10 meters to one millimeter was 10,000, I think we can guess that two meters to one millimeter is going to be one to 2000. So press OK. And OK. All right. So uh, we've exported those as Illustrator files, and now it's time to go into Illustrator and see what those look like. 